Look good, feel good. That's the key to life. Go down in the link in the description and get your merchandise today. Use code MVP10 for 10% off your order from today through August 2nd. We got fresh and fly gear, every single flavor, t-shirts, v-necks, hoodies, leggings for the ladies. Anything that you need is down in the link in the description. Shout out to all the MVPs. Roll to 10K. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the fastest and most glitchiest way to complete the fifth inning program. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, show your love and appreciation for all the stub tips and XP tips that I am giving you guys. Shout out to the MVPs, everybody that's been rocking with your boy, helping the channel grow. Road to 10K, the MVP elites, is Dexter Panita and Raymond Edwards. We're gonna start back with the shout outs tomorrow to the regular MVPs, but all the MVPs sound off in the comment section. We do have the giveaway coming up in the next four to five days. Today we're gonna to go over how you can get the fifth inning boss full breakdown super, super fast. Let's get it. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. So the number one XP method in the game is still the walk method. Now, if you wanna get done in four to five hours, you can really, really cheat by getting a Cronus Zen, but that is gonna cost you money to buy that. So anybody that you see already have the fifth inning boss, definitely exploited the game a different type of way. Okay, so what you wanna do is walk your better, and we're gonna go through the full setup in about three to four minutes. I'm just gonna show you what 225 runs, the amount of XP that you can get from that. It's best that you go to 400 runs. Every 10 runs takes about a minute. 400 runs is gonna be about 38 to 40 or 42 minutes, depending on how fast you do it. Now, what I like to do is just hold the button, and then I will click it, and then once it goes past that, as soon as you see the batting meter pop back up right there, you can push it again. Every time that that outer circle shows up, you can walk the better again, okay? So it's a few important things that you wanna do. You wanna have fast play on. You wanna have it on the highest difficulty. That's gonna give you a 60 XP boost for everything. After 450 runs, I'm not sure if it still counts. So if I was you, I would do 250, restart 250, make sure the servers are connected, make sure that you have both controllers turned on. So every once in a while, I will push the other controller and you can see my better, he resets. That just makes sure that you get all your XP like you are supposed to. The fastest way to get all this to work is to make sure that you just holding this button right here, the left button, hold the left button, and then you're gonna push B, and then you're gonna push A, it's gonna set it. Now, every time that outer circle pops back up, that lets you know that you can do it again. So we're gonna skip that, we're gonna go to outer circle, and it's time to do it again. Super, super fast, every 10 runs should take you a minute. It should take you no more than 35 to 40 minutes to get up to 400 runs, okay? So once you get past all that and you are in the game, we're gonna start the video over and get to the beginning. Now, once you get here, you just wanna bunt the runners home. So we're gonna pitch the ball, and then we're gonna lay down the bunt, okay? So we can controlling the other controller we're going to send all them home so you're going to hold the lb you're going to advance all the runners and i'm going to leave one person on base so that's going to be 233 runs right there okay so exactly how i'm doing it is how you should be doing it now we're going to start walking people again we're going to put player one down have it set up exactly like I'm showing you. Then you won't be in the comment section asking questions that I'm already showing you in the video. Will you get banned for this? No, that's gonna be over 3 million people that they have to ban. This has been in the game forever. It works every single inning. I've been doing it the first, second, third, and fourth inning to get done in about three to four days. But I don't really care about the bosses this time around, but this is to help you guys. All right, so once you get enough runs that you want, you're gonna strike out the other side, okay? Then you're gonna get up and now you are gonna pitch. So now you're gonna grab the first controller that you are not using, except every once in a while, once you push the button. So to keep it active, you're just gonna come right here and we got quick counts on. So we starting off with a one-one count and all we have to do is throw strikes. So if you have it on classic pitching, 
for this it's the best way to do it then you don't have to use pinpoint or none of that other stuff and you just want to throw strikes you're not going to swing with the other controller just throw fastballs down the middle two seamers all that it don't matter they're not going to swing so now we got two outs we start off with two balls and one strike we're going to come right here boom throw it down there two balls two strikes come right here through another fastball now we retired that side so we got up the hit and then we got three outs now we came back up and you can see it's one hit so far 237 runs so i'm going to get back up i'm going to walk all the betters i'm going to do one more bunt and then i'm going to exit so now we can put this controller back down that's the controller that all the xp is going on so we're going to walk all these betters until we get bases loaded Try to get a good bunt right there. Now we're going to grab the other controller, send everybody around. Same thing. This time, I'm going to send everybody home, and then I'm going to exit. It don't matter how many runs. This should be 245 runs. Now, if you want to guarantee that you get all the extra XP, you can strike out the entire side one more time, but you don't have to. So 245, and they gave me an error for that. So because they gave me an error, that hit didn't count. So there's a swing right there. And we ended up getting a perfect, perfect in a home run. So that's going to be bonus right there. That's not something that's going to happen all the time. But we got the bonus home run. That gives us our second hit. Now we're going to take the main controller right here to make sure nothing bad happens. 247 runs. Or you can go to 250 and exit. Now we're going to go to confirm and exit. Once you see this notice pops up, meaning that you made changes throughout the game, apply player one's changes, okay? You don't want this to pop up, but if it does, always select player one to make sure that your XP does register. So we got 15,000 XP that fast in about 24 to 25 minutes, okay? So you can see I already unlocked stuff in the program. That's the first thing that I ever did in the program. I'm not really going to grind the program out, but now we're going to exit out. And I'm going to hit the middle button. Now I exit it out of the full game. I want to exit out of the full game. Make sure nothing is open. If you close out of the application, go get you a drink real fast, some orange juice, a glass of water, and just wait two to three minutes. Because people are going to say, my XP did not register for the program. First, make sure you see how much you have before you start. Number two, make sure that the servers are up and running. Number three, put it on the hardest difficulty so you can get an XP boost. And every 20 to 25 minutes, you should be at 15 to 20,000 XP. If you get up to 400 runs and you don't make any changes and your controller stay active, you can get about 36 to 37 XP. So now you can see, I got it closed down. Now we're gonna enter back in. We're gonna let it attach to the servers again. If the servers are not up, then it's gonna take a while for your XP to show up. So every time that you get done doing it, you have to take a two to five minute break. Otherwise, you're gonna be complaining about your XP. So don't start Xing me in the comment section. One, if you haven't dropped a like on the video. And two, if you don't turn the console off and go get a drink of water and then come back to the console. It's not that important that you just sit there, play, 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 and wonder why the XP is not working when I'm showing you exactly how to do it. Okay, so now we are loading back in. You can see the new active user is showing up, meaning that the servers are up and running. Daily doubles are popping back in. We're going to go to the fifth inning program, and we're going to see if the XP did register. Now, this is the first time I ever did it. So next reward. So you can see all my stuff registered 16,052 XP first time I ever did the walk method and you guys just seen it right there okay so I haven't went down here and did no collections I haven't did none of the umbrella conquest for the 25,000 or nothing that was the first time ever that I did it in the program because I completed all the other programs in the first four to five days don't really care about this but I'm helping you guys out who might need some of these cards to put on your team now we're going to go through the full setup so the first thing you want to do, you want to go to settings. You want to do presentation. You want to make sure fast play is on and then better walk off, turn it off. All this stuff you want to have off. Right here, you want to have this on legend. The highest difficulty mean the most XP that you can possibly get. Okay, so I'm going to put it back on beginner because when I play, I like the cheese. Now all this is set. Now with pitching. For the walk method, you want to have this on the easiest one, which is classic. All you have to do is push a button, but I'm going to keep it on pinpoint because that's what I play on. Because I'm not going to be doing the method right now, but I'm helping you guys out that want to do the method. You're going to apply the changes, then you're going to come down here to exhibition. Player one, 
you want to be player one. I don't care what nobody tell you. Make sure your XP is right. Put your main controller where you want the XP to go over to player one. Over here, player two, you want to set that up. Now you have to enter the game. It don't matter what team. It don't matter about none of this. We're going to do fast play. Use the main controller. Quick counts on. Use the main controller. Enter into the game. Now you're going to pick your pitchers. You're going to pick your lineup. And you are all set. Only thing you want to do is hold the main controller for like another 20 seconds. If you on next gen, it's super, super fast. If you on old gen, it's going to take you an extra two to three minutes to get all this set up. Next gen just flies through the loading super, super fast. So now we in. You want to use your regular controller. Hold to skip. And now you all set up. So if you don't have your main controller hooked up hardwired, every once in a while, just push down, make them step out of the box, and that's going to register for you. Then you're going to come push L1 or LB and O, and you're going to do that. Now, every time that the outside circle appears, that means that you can do it again. Okay, so outside circle, you can do it again. It's super, super fast. Every time you see that outside circle, you just hold it down. Outside circle, you can do it again. Super, super fast. Every 10 runs should be about a minute at the most. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. Why haven't you dropped a like on the video? Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Be a part of the fam. Madden 22 videos is coming to the channel very, very soon. The giveaway is coming, so you want to be locked in and you want to be an MVP. Drop a like on the video, subscribe, follow me on social medias. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Let's get it.